Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. Courtney Cook with the Louisiana Foundation Against Sexual Assault joins us to preview the candlelight vigil tonight. Courtney, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me here. Of course. Well, first off, tell us a little bit about your organization. Yeah, so I work with Louisiana Foundation Against Sexual Assault, and we are the statewide coalition that accredits sexual assault centers all over the state. Um, and basically what that means is just we help them by getting funding, by promoting their organizations, and just by making sure that our parishes are covered um, as far as getting services for sexual assault survivors. That's mm -hmm. fantastic and definitely very much needed, I'm sure, too. And so uh, tell us about the event tonight. Yes, so um, LSUA is doing a Take Back the Night event tonight, which um, I, they have a guest speaker, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, Right afterwards, it's LaFosse is doing a candlelight vigil for victims of crime um, to kick off National Crime Victims' Rights Week. Um, and so we're going to have a couple of community leaders come and speak. We're going to open up a space for families of victims of crime or just survivors to come and like talk and just tell their story. So tell me a little bit about the, uh, the National uh, Crime Victims of Crime Week. Is that what it's called? Yeah. National okay, Crime yes, Victims' yes. Rights Week. Tell me yeah. about that. Um, so that's just like a week to kind of bring awareness to um, anyone who has been a victim of a crime on any spectrum. And so it's just a way to bring awareness and bring communities closer together to like support them. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It is. So how can we as the general public participate in this? Yeah, so um, doing events such as uh, the candlelight vigil, coming and supporting the organizations that are putting those on. Um, they, we have a website as well for it's um, victimsofcrimehaverights.com so that'll give you a lot more information too as well. Mm -hmm. That's great, that is. And the National Night Out, I know that I've heard of that before too. Um, that's something that they do kind of all over um, across America during I guess this week. Uh, so uh, tell me why it's important for your organization to be involved. Yeah, um, it's just important for us to be involved to make sure that it we're known that people know about the FASA, about the sexual assault centers here, um, which the one in our area is STAR. Um, and then of course, uh, the Family Justice Center offers services too, um, so yeah. That's great, that is. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the center here. You said that's STAR? Yes. Okay. So STAR Sexual Trauma Awareness and Response, uh, they offer counseling services, legal services, as well as um, someone that can come into the community and do trainings and uh, just promote their the services. That's great, that is. And so I'm sure it's helping a lot of those victims out there too, but um, it sounds like y'all do a lot of preventative things as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, uh, so I know STAR especially will have things that they can go and do like workshops and trainings. Um, they p do community events as well. Uh, that's you know, partially kind of what we're doing tonight too, which is the National Crime Victims Right Weeks, which is bringing awareness and like trying try to bring out to that prevention. That's fantastic. And so uh, I know we have a QR code on the screen. Tell me what happens if you scan that. Yeah, so if you scan the QR code, it'll take you to lafasa.org. <coughs> um, and you can, there's a helpline there for sexual assault survivors if they need for crisis intervention or if they need resources for the area or anything, uh, they can either text that number, um, call the 888 number on there, or if you scan the QR code, or just visit the lafasa.org website, and there'll be a link. And that's available anytime for people to call and or text and just talk to someone if they need support, right? Yeah, so the hotline is available 24-7. Um, the chat line is available from 12 to 8, or 12 noon to 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday, and then Friday through Sunday, it's 4 p.m. to 8, or to midnight. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like y'all are doing a lot of great work out there, especially the vigil tonight. Remind us what time that starts. Um, so the it starts at 5. And it, it's going to be about an hour and a half long. So okay. there'll be a speaker. We'll have like some refreshments and some cookies and stuff for everyone. So. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming on and telling us about it. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Anytime. We have more to come on Good Day Sin Law. Stay right here.